Welcome back. This is the second tutorial on building a Roland SH101 synthesizer in Pure Data. This time I'm going to show you how to build this horse mixer. This blends the volumes in different waveforms and is fairly simple. One quick thing first though. Let's look again at the VCO for the last tutorial. I'm going to take the frequency and put them in the controls out of the VCO module and put them on the top level of the patch. This mirrors the actual SH101 interface. We add an inlet for control messages to the VCO module so that we can control both things for the outside like so. Now we can move these controls outside. There we go, that's nice. Ok right, so create a new patch, and save the empty patch in the year 101 folder, calling it something like, source underscore mixer dot pd. Ok, the mixer is basically just a set of inlets and outlets with volume controls in between, so if we do one right, we can just copy and paste, simple as that. We want smooth volume changes though so let's put in an audio line object and smooth the changes at 100 milliseconds. Oops, that should be not point not one, not two. Let's wrap it up neatly in a wee sub patch. There we go. And add a slider. Right click and go to properties to set the range for not the one hana. As with a VCO module. We are probably going to want to control these sliders through outside the patch at some point so put in another inlet and make sure it is the leftmost inlet in the patch. We want controls for the square wave volume, the sort of, the sub oscillator and the next noise output. We can just copy and paste to make the others. Remember the fourth one is a noise source, so we can just change the inlet to the noise object. It's nice to get a bit more volume out of the sub oscillator, so I will double it one. Name the sliders. There we go. Then we did a PD graph on parenting so that we get a neat wee interface on our that patch. As last time, the height can be 190, and it can be a bit thinner like 150. Stick the sliders in the red box there. Save that patch. Now let's see, create a source mixer object in your test patch alongside your VCO module.
Remember the first inlet should be just for messages. We want the three audio oscillators to go to the three audio inlets, so skip the first inlet on the mixer. Let's give it a test. That's fucking great. I might just take the noise level down a wee bit though. Just by putting in a multiply by half object in there. The opposite of what is happening with a sub oscillator. Great. That's the right. I told you it would be pretty simple, didn't I? In the next tutorial we add a VCF filter module. That is also quite a quick one. If or that we can get stuck in the envelopes and modulation and it gets a bit trickier again. Bye for now.